Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. A month for rape. A former Montana teacher will serve just 30 days in prison for raping his 14-year-old student who later committed suicide. 49-year-old Stacy Dean Rambold was looking at 15 years in jail back in 2008, but a judge suspended almost his entire sentence because he claimed the 14-year-old girl, listen to this, was, quote, as much in control of the situation as he was. And he added the girl was, quote, older than her chronological age. Out front, Dr. Drew Pinsky, host of HLN's Dr. Drew on Call. I mean, this one is a shocker. Have you ever heard of a sentence like this? No. Now, we have all reported on many stories, but this is the one that I don't even know what to do with it. It's so outrageous. I'm so angry about it. I am beside myself. We have known for decades now that there's a reason we have laws protecting young people. They're not in a position, their brain development isn't such that they can render consent for something like sex. And for a judge to say a 14-year-old is able to consent to this is the most I don't have strong enough language. Well, I do have it. I just would not use it in mixed company. It is, it is outlandish in a way that I cannot describe. And this girl died as a result of the perpetration of this. Let's call him what he is. Maybe I shouldn't. But he, we all know what I'm thinking. It is the most outlandish thing I've ever heard of. I was stunned by the language he used. He said she was, quote, older than her chronological age. Here's is what this her a condition? Here's is what that her chron legit? No. Her chronological age, Jessica, was 14. That's her chronological age. That's her brain development. There's no such thing as someone who can magically have a brain that's a 21-year-old brain when they're 14. They may have behaved in ways that were inappropriate. And guess what? That's a sign of mental illness in a 14-year-old. Those are the people we need to protect the most. If a 14-year-old is acting out sexually, that is depression. That is a history of trauma. That is the person that needs more protection, not this kind of outlandishness. And an older teacher obviously has the ability to influence and manipulate a much younger of girl, course. right? Of course. Of course. Court. That's why some. This is this is why doctors don't take advantage of patients, and bosses don't take a, care of take advantage of people that they have responsibility over, and teachers don't take take advantage of students. There's a power imbalance, and there's a sacred right to protect that. And the judge obviously here is missing. Well, we'll see. We have to figure yeah. this out. The girl's mother spoke to CNN, uh, and when asked if her daughter's sexual relationship had an impact on her suicide, this is what she said. Uh, well, it definitely had something to do with it. Teenagers' whole lives are about school and their friends and he turned everyone against her this is it's heartbreaking she was just about to turn 17 when she took her life what kind of impact do you think this has on a child's experience well I, I listen <laughs> you, you don't have to use your imagination a anyone out there who has any sensibility at all understands the impact this could anyone's been a teenager who's raised a teenager understands this but let's be clear suicide is the most severe symptom of mental illness right it's how people with mental Mental illness die and this girl as I've said clearly had something going on that put her in a circumstance where she needed to be protected not exploited and because she was exploited whatever was going on with her whatever care she needed was sent reeling off in the wrong direction and she died of that condition at the hands of this guy and that is well and the judge let's be fair the two of them colluded in this one such an upsetting story dr. Drew thanks